So uh, the funny thing happened the fourth day we were at the studio. Uh, I pretty much wanted to leave the studio and never get back because I just had enough. It was burned out. Just yeah, simply know. burned out. You know, when, when you are in the studio for like eight hours, three days in a row, and that's not really that much, three days or that many. The fourth day, Nicola came into the studio and he laid down saxophone parts. He, he recorded all his parts in two days, but it was like, uh, not the whole days, but you know, he came twice in the studio. And Two funny things that were caught on the camera. First of all, was uh, the second time he was in the studio, he was laying down the solo for Pilgrim in Doubt. Right. And? And uh, it was the final take, but I wasn't listening to him. You know, I was like, <laughs> I was. <laughs> Checking his the stories. Yeah, like something stuff. like that. I was, I was either, either on, I, probably I was on Wi Fi and doing some internet stuff, and it was so funny, you know, like. Uh, that video shows everything that's wrong with the world today, <laughs> and I'm the one who's being wrong. See for yourself. And 
there's one more video where uh, he was recording a solo for Living in Fear and it was funny because I told him that look, it's <laughs> essentially a pop solo that we want from you. That was like the last solo to be played or something like that? Maybe. I, I would say, basically, I'm not to, not to want to say that he ran out of ideas, okay? <laughs> but it was like, he's soloing pretty much on every track, so... so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he ran out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't, but he had his like own approach to the song, which was like uh, his approach, and there was Roman's approach, or let's say normal approach, or yeah, the right approach. Like <laughs> the actual solo that's on the recording is like a mixture of four of his takes, yeah. but the one take that he wanted to be the final take, and the one he liked is kind of an unlistenable mess, even though he... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just... You be the judge. It'll be cool in a jazz band, like, I suppose, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Next to the studio where we recorded, there was a, there was this big hall. You've been there, and there's actually a, a pretty cool reverb. So I went there just with my phone, and you know, I just it, it kind of was scary because there was always dark. You know, the whole studio is actually in like a, it was super spooky. What, what the studio? The studio, the studio was basically uh, like nuclear bunker in case of atomic apocalypse. Not to be like pessimistic, but you know that thing. You know, if the world ends, we can still finish our record. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's one good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that, it was kind of spooky because it was dark and there wasn't any light, which is actually what dark means. And um, <laughs> <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> yeah. But there was very, very nice reverb. You know, if if you recorded some vocals there, I think it would have been pretty cool. And that's what I tried. Uh, Sound engineers would uh, really appreciate that. It's like like natural six second, at least six second reverb. And what what was this story about? If I may ask. Story about the reverb. Uh, that I went there. You know, when we had some sort of a break when I wasn't recording, the other band members were. So I just went there with the phone and I recorded my voice and I kind of liked it. And you want to like share it with your audience? I'll think about it in the post-production. All right, think <laughs> about it well. <laughs> some bass lines and stuff like that but the funny thing is that Stevie took more of a pictures of me rather than recording and there's there's the very there's a reason for it <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 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 by the way we're looking for a new keyboard player so if you know about it you know, this email address right here just write an email there. and the very first song I did was we were building our own monument and I wasn't really that warmed up or something, you know, my voice was still kind of harsh and that's the one video that Stevie made of me kind of singing there and being like, oh, okay, it's, that's not very good and then Stevie's like, oh, I got it on the camera, I'm like, mm, G. 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 There are also two takes, uh, one video was made when I was recording uh, Missing Colors Stevie recorded a little bit of me being behind the mic. Uh, that was, I think, verses or the first chorus or something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's one more when I laid down the chorus of Cortex Labyrinthus in part two. So that's also, that was in one of the Insta stories. This is up to you, Dominus. It's playing in our sight. There's no equilibrium. We are the world through. Blind. 
And then we had Carmen over. She ended up third in Super or Slovak Idol 2018. Wow. And uh, I called her in to record a few backing vocals, so that's what she did. We had some fun with that. Ako, ako, hey, what hey, what, what, hey, what is Carmen? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Ja, no to čo si aj predtým spievala. Si toto rockeriny? Ja. Sup, lady, my name's Shady, I'm the lead singer of Roman Baby. And we also recorded some choirs where we also called Nicola the saxophone player so that there will be four, four of us and there were some funny situations there. You got the video of that? Because I have it in my phone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I have it. When we were recording and yeah, we were all behind the mic. That was, that's one of the last videos, I think, in this studio documentary. Thanks to our sound engineer, Roman, who made us four sound like we are 50 there. So, yeah. <laughs> 40. 50? 40? I'm not sure right now. But it's in the song fake, right? Uh, there were more way tube holes, fake uh, cortex labyrinth to one part. Really? Yeah. I did, really didn't nice listen to the record so far, so... Oh. <laughs> Hopes and dreams! Aha, tam som Hopes and dreams, ne? Ten Hopes and dreams ešte raz, lebo A koľko krát to dáme celé? Kratšie? A je to prvé kratšie? Dobre. On your knees! Ešte raz daj, Roman. To your knees. Nespiedajme. To your knees. A hoď si jak. To your knees. To nemusíme za intonovať. To your knees. To your knees. Get down, soldier.